This is a big one, you guys. This is a big one. You have to show up despite how you feel. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Taniqua and today in this video I'm going to be talking about how critical confidence is to your business success as a hairstylist. This is so special to me because I know exactly how it feels to doubt myself and to not want to market myself because I'm afraid of negative criticism. I know exactly how it feels to compare myself to others and then downplay my own skills. To not want to take on new challenges because you feel that you're not quite ready to do so. Okay? Now if this is any of you, if this is hitting home with you, keep watching because I'm going to be sharing some key tips on how you can boost your confidence as a hairstylist so you can level up and own your craft okay so make sure that you stick around first off it's important to know exactly what's attacking your confidence as a hairstylist so in this video i'm going to expose some fallacies some mindsets and thoughts that you probably have that are limiting you and your growth as a hairstylist so number one is you view being a new hairstylist as a bad thing. And my question for you is when did being new at anything become a bad thing? Everyone, including all of the hairstylists that you constantly compare yourself to, had to start somewhere and they started at the beginning. So you want to take it easy on yourself and, and know that this is a beautiful place to be in. You're not going to always be new. So you want to take advantage of the per, your positioning right now, okay? So number two is you glorify other hairstylists and their talents and you downplay your own, aka comparing yourself to others. This obviously isn't good for your confidence level and it keeps you from wanting to show up. It's okay to look at other hairstylists and be inspired by what they're doing and like what they're doing. However, you are suffering while you are watching them at this stage of your career. This is the exact energy that is taking away from your journey. So you might want to watch this, you guys. In addition to that, you have to find your own niche. And sometimes it makes it very difficult when you're heavily focusing on someone else and mimicking what they're doing instead of creating a path for your own self. So it's so important that you watch this, you guys. Number three is not wanting to take on any new clients until you have more experience. Now I know this seems like a no-brainer, but there are a lot of hairstylists that are doing this. Now, here is a screenshot of one of my clients who is a hairstylist that is doing this very thing. The only way to become more experienced is to have practice. And taking on new clients is the best way to challenge this mindset. Number four is I can't get clients because I am new. Now we know that this is not the truth. Being new isn't the reason why you're not getting any new clients. Not showing up and not marketing your services is the reason why you're not getting any new clients. Some clients don't have a preference on how new you are unless you give them a reason to negatively question it. That's why it's so important to erase this lie out of your, out of your mind and, and to insert the truth. And the truth is, is that you can get clients, whether you're new or seasoned, but it's up to you to make sure that you're marketing, marketing yourself and putting yourself on a level where you believe in you. Number five is I'm not good enough and I don't know if I'll ever be good enough. Although in moments it may feel like you will never get it right, you have to get out of this. I know whenever I mess up or I get a negative review from a client, those are the times when I uh, have this thought in my mind, but I completely just try to get myself out of it as quick as I can because I know that it is limiting my growth and it's keeping me in a place that I don't want to be in. So now that we've covered all of the myths and all the things that are keeping you from having confidence in your niche, I'm going to now share some tips that are going to help you to boost your confidence right away. Yep. Number one is to ignore all of the negative thoughts and mindsets that are keeping you from showing up in your craft. You have to know that these are lies and you have to start replacing these lies with the truth. So a great way to do this is to recall all of the things that you do know. Okay. So for instance, for me, um, like for instance, let's say if I have a bad day and I'm now down 
and I don't want to go to work the next day. So literally, I'm going to recall. I literally sit there and I recall all of the things I do know. I do know how to do zip presses. I do know how to cut and trim hair very well. I do know how to um, do a great shampoo. I do know how to put on a cape. I do know how to not get someone wet in the chair. You know, so I just recall all of the things. No matter how small they are, these things, like recalling these things, are going to help you to boost your confidence way quicker, you guys. Number two is to take consistent action. And you can do that by just practicing, whether it's on a mannequin or getting your friend and just saying, hey girl, come over, I'll, you know, not, you can give her a discount of rate or you can actually charge her full price. And literally practice what you are struggling with, you guys. So that's helped me. I have a lot of friends, I have a lot of family that I've, I've you know, literally, you know, got to practice on them and also my mannequin as well. Um, so yeah, that's a great way to boost your confidence, you guys. So number three, okay, this is a big one, you guys. This is a big one. You have to show up despite how you feel. And I know that's easier said than done, but there are a lot of times when you're not going to feel like showing up, especially when you get a negative comment or a negative review from one of your clients, okay? It's like they're attacking your very craft and everything that you're doing and it makes you feel like you don't know what you're doing even more, right? So the best way to do this is just to like ignore your feelings, say, okay, I know that they're not saying this about me personally, but know that, okay, well, they're, they're just saying it about where I am at my journey. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't stop progressing, you guys, because a lot of times like people, people will honestly say, I've had several clients that have come to me and they have said, you know what, maybe I should stop taking clients. Maybe this is time for me to scale back all the way and just focus on these few people that I have and just try to get better with them. But the thing is, is that when you add more challenges, that's how you you know get better I love when clients challenge me I love getting negative reviews now more than ever because I know that this is this best season to grow being new and being at the early stages I would rather get all of the mistakes out of the way right now versus later on in my career where I'm making um, you know elementary level mistakes you guys so don't take this don't take the the things personally just move past your feelings you guys one thing that you have to realize is that people tend to avoid the things that they dread doing or that they're not good at okay this stunts your growth and this keeps you further away from where you want to be you want to be a seasoned you want to be a well experienced stylist hairstylist and in order to do that you have to practice you have to put your, out, yourself out there and it's going to be despite how you feel this season that you're in is very uncomfortable okay it's very uncomfortable and there's no way around it but through it there's no way around it but through it you guys so all those times that you know you're like oh man I really don't want to go today because I had a bad day the other day and people are gonna remember that you have to shake it off, shake it off, and just not wear your not wear your feelings on your sleeves right now in the season, guys. So number four is to get a mentor. The moves that you want to make much quicker because they have been through everything that you are now about to experience. So you want to have someone that's more seasoned than you in the game that can teach you what you don't know when it comes to techniques, but also how to run the business side too. In terms of cosmetology school and, and even an apprenticeship program, that you're not learning that in school. You're not learning how to run a business in school in depth. Yes, the textbook does have it, but having a mentor there to guide you through these things, whether it's paid or whether they want to just, you know, adopt you, that'd be even great. But, you know, even if it's paid, I'm telling you it's worth the investment because they're going to help you to get past your feelings and to get past all the things that I'm telling you right now. Number five is to take classes and to go to events. Now this is so great in terms of building your confidence because when you see other like-minded people that are, you know, either where you are right now or like a little bit further than you, it inspires you to be around all those different hairstylists that are, you know, just so hungry and just so ready to just level up in the game. I'm telling you, it does something to to your, your soul when you see all of those individuals that are just so pumped about what they're doing it just i'm telling you it's going to rub off on you and you're going to feel like you're not alone in this now one thing i will say about taking classes and going to events is 
Education is great when it's backed by action. If you're not taking action behind the education that you're receiving in these different classes, then it's like womp, 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 you wasted your time, okay? So I will say yes, be around the people, be immersed in the culture of growing, but make sure that you do well with the, the information that you get from all of these different classes and events that you attend. Number six is change your perception of where you are. So you have to understand that in every stage of your career and in life, there are going to be times where you feel uncomfortable, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't take action. That means that you're on the right track and you are closer to where you want to be. Because if it's comfortable, that means that you're probably not growing. That means that you're probably not challenging yourself. So my words of wisdom to you guys is just to just don't give up and just to change your perception of where you are if you know uh, you don't like where you are do something about it but first it starts with your perception you guys now number seven you guys and this is the final one make sure well you don't have to make sure but it would be so beneficial to your confidence level if you had a mentee and here's why okay Mentees are a great way to level up much quicker because you have someone that is counting on you, that is looking up to you for whatever guidance that you may have. Now I know that it seems a little crazy to have a mentee because you feel like you're so new and you don't have anything to give to someone else, but you actually do. There's someone right now, whether they're like close to you or whether they're in a Facebook group forum, there's someone out here that is three steps behind you and they want to know the information that you have and that's literally what drives me like I, I know that there's someone out there that can benefit from the learning lessons that I have experienced over the last year and a half two years of me you know getting myself into the cosmetology when you have someone that is looking up to you for advice or information you're 10 times much more likely to show up for your craft and for your business so I'm recommending that you get a mentee you guys now it has helped me in terms of you know creating my YouTube channel and you know building the inner workings of my business because people would ask me questions and also I would just want to have these things ready for them so it forced me to read more to learn about these things I'm recommending it for you because it's so it's such a great way to boost your confidence you guys so that's all the tips that I have you guys for this video so hopefully this was helpful for you building your confidence within your craft make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you found any of the information useful so it can help other people to find this information as well and if you want to be a part of my e-community make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I will be posting up new videos every Wednesday you guys that's for beautypreneurship for just hair tips and social media you guys so Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, make sure that you stay productive, have a great life and stay healthy you guys and I will see you in the next one.